just like a boomerang, we're always coming back. We're about to hit you with the top 10 plays of the week. At number 10 of the bomb squad, Jeremy Davis will hit the defense with his patented pump fake, then throw the ball down the field to James Bucky Hamlin, who's going to hit the circle button and take care of the rest. At number 9, Antoine Stevenson of the Hurricanes is going to hit Devin Bennett in full stride. His teammates say it's the Shades. At number 8, Dwayne Martin of the Guilford Sooners is going to hit the defense with a stop and go to get his offense started up. He's going to hit Chris Knight for the touchdown. At number 7, Chris Bray of the Greensboro Wolves is going to take this one in by getting by three defenders with three different moves. At number 6, Travis Peebles of Elevate is going to elevate the offense all the way to the end zone by hitting Terrace Alexander in the flats, who's going to streak up the sideline and handle it himself. At number 5, Adrian Rowland of the Ravens is going to throw this one to Bryant Person, who's just the right person to get the job done. At number 4, Person's touchdown tied it up, but Jordan Calicut's one-handed extra point will win it. At number three, Travis Peoples of Elevate is going to throw the moss to Travis Clay. When you get the ball to Clay, good things happen. At number two, Quentin Coria of the All-American Dream Team is going to pick off this bobble pass and celebrate with his teammates. But he's not done yet. He's still got another one in the tank. He's going to pick this one off, take it 80 yards for a touchdown, and these two picks is what earned him Defensive Player of the Week. Your number one play of the week goes to Chris Bray of the Greensboro Wolves, who's going to throw it to his brother Cameron Bray for a five-yard drag. Cameron is going to turn that into almost a full-field touchdown. Six points for the Wolves. Go to triadflagfootball.com for all your stats, news, and anything to do with the league.